Hey, what's happening guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you our exact three-step sales process that we use to get clients for our agency growth response. I've done a few videos in the past on some of the tactics that we use, like sending simple social media messages on platforms like LinkedIn, sending messages on cold email and Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but in this video, it's gonna be more of a big picture overview, the bird's eye view look at our exact sales process so that you can understand because I've been getting dozens of questions on, hey, how do you get clients? How does it work? How does your process or strategy work? This is a video that's gonna answer that question and show you exactly what that process looks like. Now, this is a free training that I did in my Facebook group. So if you like trainings just like this, make sure you go below into the description. It's a 100% free Facebook group on how to start an online business selling digital services and scale it to six figures plus per year. So if you're interested in that, it's a free group, join below, there should be a link in the description. And it's whether you're an SMMA or drop servicing agency, a marketing or advertising consultant or a graphic designer, a copywriter, any type of digital services business, if you already have one or you're looking to start one, that's gonna be the group to be to get the most access to me and the most help from me. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go below, hit the, hit the link in the description to join, 100% free. If not, no worries. I hope you guys get a lot of value out of this training. So let's jump into it right now. All right, what's going on guys? In this free training, I'm gonna show you our predictable three-step sales process that we use to convert leads into paying clients for our agency growth response, where we do done for you LinkedIn, prospecting and lead generation for companies in the B2B technology space. Now, before I can go over that, you need to first understand what is a sales process and why is it so important that you have one? So let's jump into that real quick. I'm gonna talk about this and then we'll jump into the exact three-step process that we use. Now, a sales process is simply a set of repeatable steps that takes a person from the early stage of awareness, just hearing about your company for the first time, to a closed sale. Right, the set of steps where a person follows, they just hear about your company, the, the set of steps they follow to becoming a paying client with you. Now, there's three reasons why you need one, right? There's number one, it's clarity. It gives you clarity. It eliminates any confusion and gives you extreme clarity on what to do in each step of the process. So you can look at the process and say, okay, I'm on step number one, I can go to step number two now. I did step number two, I can go to step number three, right? So it eliminates any confusion and gives you complete clarity on what to do in each step of your sales process. Now that leads to point number two, which is ease of execution. When you have clarity and when you know what to do in each step of the process, execution becomes simple, becomes easy because you can just look at your process and say, okay, I did step number one, I do step number two now, I did step number two, I did step number three and so on and so forth, right? We have been using the same three-step sales process for two years now. We've gotten better at it over time and the only reason we're able to get better is because we use the same process, which gives us clarity, it makes, it, it makes execution simple and step-by-step, step. and that leads me to step or point number three, which is increasing sales. Most people, they don't have a sales process and their sales suffer as a result. When you have extreme clarity and you're able to execute efficiently on this sales process, your sales will increase. You're gonna be able to build momentum. You're gonna be able to get better over time. And every prospect or person that comes into your business, you're going to know exactly what to do, right? You're gonna do the same sales process for everyone who comes into your business. There's so many business owners and entrepreneurs I talk to and they'll say, okay, what does your sales process look like? How do you take someone from an early stage of awareness to a closed sale? And they'll be like, well, it depends. We have like seven different processes. It depends where they come from and, and what they say and, and all these different things, right? And then I ask them, why do you have seven different processes? Why don't you have one clear, predictable set of steps that they follow to becoming a paying client with you? And most of the times they just don't have an answer. They're like, well, I don't know. I thought we had to do something different depending on the prospect, right? Well, if you have a predictable sales process in place that takes a prospect from cold to booked and a closed sale with you, you're gonna be able to build some massive momentum and get better and better over time. That's gonna help you to increase your sales, right? So. Real quick, I wanna make it clear, Every there's different business types and different types of sales processes, right? The one I'm gonna be talking about here is what we use to sell high ticket digital services. So there's e-commerce stores out there, right? There's low ticket drop servicing agencies where they send people to a Kartra page or a Shopify page and they just have a buy now button and someone clicks buy now and they check out and that's their sales process. This is not the same for us, okay? So if you're one of those people who just never wanna to talk to anyone and never want to get on the phone or talk to your potential clients, 
this is probably not gonna be for you, right? This is for high ticket digital services where you're going to be building relationships with your clients and you're building a long-term sustainable business selling digital services, okay? So before I jump into the sales process, I just wanted to make that clear. Let's get into it right now. Our predictable three-step sales process for converting leads into paying clients, I call it PQC. What does that stand for? Prospect, qualify, and close. So I've done a few videos on this now, on the prospecting phase and even the qualify phase here or qualify step, right? In the prospect phase, we're doing something called outbound prospecting. Now that outbound prospecting, you wanna think of it like you're throwing a spear, right? You're going out to the market. Don't actually think of it like you're throwing spears at your audience, but you're basically going out to your market and you're sending them messages to get them interested in what you have to offer or to find people who are interested in what you have to offer, right? So how do we do that? We use free social media platforms like LinkedIn, first of all, right? Well, what, are, what are we doing on LinkedIn? We're searching for our ideal prospects, our ideal clients. We're connecting with them on LinkedIn and then we're sending them a message. Hey, so-and-so, we offer done for you LinkedIn lead generation services for companies in the B2B technology space. Are you interested in having a conversation on how that could work for you? Then what we do is we try to book a 15 minute discovery call. And I'll talk about what that is in a second, right? I have a video on that as well if you guys wanna watch that. Uh, but LinkedIn is just one social media channel we can use, right? So we're again, we're searching for our ideal prospects, our market, we're then sending them a connection request. Once they accept that, we send them a series of messages to get them interested in what we have to offer and getting on a phone call with us. Uh, two other places that we use are Facebook and Instagram. So what we're gonna do with Facebook is we're gonna find niche specific Facebook groups. So I'm gonna find software groups, groups about groups on Facebook around software as a service, right? I'm then going to join those groups and I'm gonna send a friend request to people in those groups who fit my ideal client profile. These are typically founders of SaaS companies, software companies, right? Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna send them a direct message, see if they're interested in learning more about how we can help them get more customers using LinkedIn. And then if they are interested, we'll hop on a 15 minute discovery call to make sure it's a fit. The third place is Instagram. So what we're doing here is we are finding niche specific pages. I'm gonna find software related pages or hashtags, right? Software life or like software founder hashtags, right? Then I'm gonna find these pages. I'm gonna follow these pages, maybe engage with them a little bit, like their photos, comment on their photos. And then I'm gonna send them some direct messages, right? The same exact thing. Hey, we have this service on LinkedIn, helps you get more, more customers for your SaaS. Are you interested in having a conversation about how we can help you do that, right? 15 minute discovery call. The third place is cold emails. So what we're doing here is we're building a list of our ideal prospects. Again, SaaS founders, 11 to 50 employees. So most of the time they're in the US. Uh, they're also in like Canada and in the UK as well. We're building lists of our prospects based on our ideal client profile. Then we're sending them a cold email, same type of message to see if they're interested in learning more about our service and how it can help them. 15 minute discovery call, right? So you can see all these outbound prospecting channels, it has the same goal, get this 15 minute discovery call, right? So we're just using all these channels because this is where our audience is hanging out, right? They're on their email. They are checking their email every day. They are on Facebook every day. Everyone has a Facebook account. Many people have Instagram accounts as well, right? So they're also on LinkedIn. They have their, their res they treat it like a resume, right? So that's kind of like their professional platform. So we go to those, these platforms and we're, we're throwing spears to try and target our exact ideal prospects, right? So we're going out to the market and we're finding them and we're sending them messages. Now this orange block here is inbound. So what are we doing here? Well, inbound is getting people to come to us, right? We're getting people to come in to us and into our business. How do we do that? Well, as we're building our network on LinkedIn and as we're building our network on Instagram and Facebook, we can start stimulating our audience, our market and stirring the pot by posting valuable content and insights and tips and tricks on our LinkedIn and our Facebook profiles, right? So we're posting and you guys can look at my profile or in my Facebook group. I post a lot of value in my Facebook group. That's an example of these Facebook inbound posts, right? On LinkedIn, I'm posting twice a week, valuable tips, tricks, insights, uh, third party articles that might be useful to my audience, right? I'm, I'm getting them, I'm giving them value so that they, ha they have interest in checking out my profile and having a conversation with me, right? Again, the goal here is to get them to schedule a call with us. Now let's talk about step number two. I have an entire video on this, so I'm not gonna go too in depth, 
But step number two is to qualify. We wanna make sure on the discovery call, the goal of it is to make sure that we're a fit to work together, right? There's gonna be people who respond to your messages who don't have money or who just aren't a fit for your service, who, who you can't help. So what we're doing in this discovery call phase is we are understanding the prospect's current situation and desired situation in relation to what we have to offer, right? So we might ask things, we offer lead generation as a service on LinkedIn. We might be asking them, hey, where are you currently at with your lead gen? How many leads or appointments are you currently getting a month? Oh, you're getting 10. Where would you like that to be? Oh, you wanna get 20. Okay, well, we can help you with that. We can help you bridge the gap between that 10 leads a month and that 20 leads a month. We can help you with their LinkedIn service, right? So you're, you're trying to understand where are they currently at in relation to what you have to offer? Where do they wanna go? Where, like, what's the result or outcome that they want to have? And the third thing you wanna understand is, can you help them bridge the gap, right? So if they are asking for something that you can't help them with, that you can't help them bridge the gap on, then don't move forward with them, disqualify them, right? So we're trying to qualify them to make sure that we have the solution to their problem and what they're looking to, to, to get out of it, right? The fourth thing you wanna understand in the, in the discovery call is, do they have the need and the budget to solve the problem right now? Right, so if someone says, no, nah, I, I don't really wanna solve this right now, I, I can't wait like three years to do it, then that's not someone you wanna talk to. You don't wanna spend any more time talking to that person, right? So you wanna make sure that they're like, yes, I need to solve this right now, it's a big problem, I am willing to pay for this solution if you have a solution. If, they, if this is the person if, that you're talking to and they wanna, so, they wanna solve their problem now and they have the budget to do that, then you're gonna schedule a demo with them to show them how your service can help them, right? Exactly how it can help them get to their, from their current situation to the desired situation, right? The demo is when you show them, hey, this is step number one, this is what we do. This is step number two, this is what we do. These are the results of each of these steps and how it's gonna help you go from here, your 10 leads a month to your 20 leads a month. This is how our service works to get you there, right? So that's as that's simple as what the demo is. It's a 30 minute demo usually. And we're just showing the prospect, hey, you told me this is where you are. You told me this is where you wanna go. This is how our service can help you get there, right? So this is our sales process. This is the same thing that we've been using for two years now. We're prospecting, we're getting people interested in what we have to, to offer. We're qualifying them on a 15 minute phone call. And then we're showing them a demo, right? So there's so many different sales processes out there again, right? There's people on YouTube talking about drop servicing who have never done or sold any kind of services before. They're just driving people to a Kartra page and they check out there. That's, if, if that's you, then this, the way that we do it over here is probably not for you. We sell high ticket digital services for four to five figures per month and we have relationships with our clients. We talk to our clients. So if you're not interested in talking to clients and growing a long-term sustainable business, then this sales process, you can just throw it out the window and don't even use this because you're gonna have to talk to people, okay? <laughs> that, that, that's just how it works. So let's go into our sales process in a little more detail one more time. Step one, prospect. We're gonna use Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and cold email to generate interested leads and appointments. People who wanna jump on the phone with us. Step number two is we're going to qualify them. So we get on a 15 to 20 minute discovery call to qualify the lead, ensure they're a fit, ensure that we can help them go from a current situation that they hate to a desired situation that they really wanna be at in relation to what we have to offer. And then also to figure out if they wanna solve that problem and have the budget to solve it right now. Step number three is to close. Getting on a sales call to walk the lead through a demo and invite them to become a client at the end, right? Show them, hey, this is how we can help you. Are you interested in moving forward and solving this problem now? That's what we ask on the demo. Now, this is the best sales process to use in the beginning. Only once you have five or more clients, you can start to automate parts of the sales process. But as the founder, you always want to start here and you wanna be doing this yourself first, right? You don't wanna be the person who's like, I can't close one deal on my own for my very own company. I'm gonna try and outsource it. You can't outsource anything around the sales process and, and generating leads if you can't close yourself, right? If you can't get your first few clients yourself, then how do you expect the salesperson to come on board and close clients for you? You gotta lead by example, get your own clients first, put in the work, do this PQC sales process, get your first few clients, and once you do that, then you can start to automate parts of the process using like paid ads and video sales letters and all that stuff. But until then, do this yourself first. Every day you should be prospecting. You should be using these platforms, right? To get people interested in these discovery calls. If you don't have enough discovery calls, that means you're not doing enough prospecting or you need to work on your prospecting, right? So this should be your main focus, generating these, these, these first appointments here, right? Once you have enough of these appointments coming in, 
then your goal is to get some clients, right? You're gonna talk to them, qualify them, see if they're a fit. If they are, you're gonna close them on your demo, okay? So that is it for this sales process. Our three-step sales process, PQC, prospect, qualify, and close. You're prospecting using free social media platforms and emails. You're gonna qualify them to make sure you're a fit. And then you're gonna close the people who are a fit on your service and invite them to become a client, right? That's our very simple sales process. And I highly recommend you start and stick with this for a year plus because it works. It's very simple and it allows you to move quickly and execute. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you guys, this free training. Uh, if you like this, make sure that you like this video and comment below. And if you're watching this in the Facebook group, make sure you comment with any questions you have as well. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you guys and I'll see you in the next video.